Hi, welcome back to another episode of Big Time TV Show starring me, Big Time TV Show. Okay, I'm not. That's not what we're doing. We're going to be doing some Kafka test generation today. We're going to be showing you ways that you can load data in the Kafka that you can use for whatever you like, maybe testing. Okay, so to start off, need to say that all the commands that I'll be running here in this big time TV show <laughs> are going to be available from wherever you're watching this. There should be a link maybe here or there, wherever it ends up. I, don't, I never really know. Um, but I'll put a link to all the, all the commands I'm running and some of the references as well. So here we go. Um, let's get started with starting Zookeeper, starting Kafka. The first example we're going to go over is something using Kafka Cat. That link is available on that link I just mentioned about, either here or there. Anyhow, I've got Kafka Cat downloaded and installed. I'm running on a Mac, so I just use Brew. Um, so I just installed it and I'm ready to go. Now it couldn't be easier. So I've got an example here teed up for you where we're going to cat from system log, pipe it to Kafka cat, and then we're going to put it into a, a topic called syslog. So that looks like this. Um, next, we can read that back out. I've got a dash J here to spit out the output into JSON. So that looks like this. How about that? Kafka Cat, definitely check it out. It's not only will it be helpful for generating test data, but just randomly reading things. Um, you'll see it. Once you start using it, you won't stop using it. Okay. Um, I mentioned piping before on this first example. Um, another example of piping that you can do is maybe you want to pull from a web service. So for example, maybe I'm going to curl from this open weather map and I'll look at um, you know something in in uh, Minneapolis that's not the URL that I want uh, so I'm gonna go back clear this out I'll do this one I'll clear that out so I made a curl call I stay again this is in the in the link um, I made a curl call I'm gonna load up um, that weather into a topic called Minneapolis weather and then I'm going to cut and paste that here so we can see that it's back out. Now that was just one row example. There's all kinds of things that you can do using these pipes. I think I mentioned in the blog post associated with this that um, the power of piping. Definitely check out this post that I, I referenced um, from Martin Kleppman. It's, uh, it's worth the read. And it just shows about how cool this, this piping is. And not only piping from a Unix standpoint, but how that can be applicable towards a much larger architecture. That's a little bonus tip for you. Check it out. It's on the link. Um, a couple of other references for you for generating test data. Makaru, if you don't know about that one, great, great, great for all kinds of things you can do. And if you want to run a local running REST server, um, to spit back JSON. This JSON server is kind of nice too. So again, those links are in the blog post. And that was some examples of how to generate test data, mainly with Kafka Cat. So next, we're gonna show, I'm going to show you a couple more. Um, the next, next video we'll go over is, um, I believe it's Kafka Connect version. So stay tuned. We'll go over that next. All right, so next up, we're going to do a couple of Kafka Connect examples. In this one, I'm going to use Confluent. I think in the last one, I had Kafka running. So in Confluent, we've got it shown here as up and running. Some of the links included, wherever you're watching this, there should be a link to it, um, for where I'm showing you this Kafka Connect data gen, which we'll show, and then Voluble. So let's go over both of these examples. Um, we've got Confluent up. Let's take a look at the share Confluent Hub components. That's just where I installed both of these Kafka Connect connectors. You'll see them here at DataGen as well as Voluble. So we're going to go over both of these as options for generating test data into Kafka. Okay, so let's go back over to this terminal. We'll clear it. I'll paste an example of using DataGen. 
Um, data Gen comes with a couple of quick starts. We just ran one called Page Views. If I scroll up, you'll see that here. And the entire command is listed on the blog post. Remember that. You've heard me say it a couple times. Here it is, Kafka Cat. Let's take a look at it. You can see it's constantly generating. So unlike the, that first section where we were just running, you know, some examples and then they'd stop, this one's constantly running in the background with these Kafka connectors, um, which is kind of cool. I'm going to hit Control C on that, um, and that's Data Gen. Um, the next one up is Voluble. Voluble is new, or at least new to me, um, and I like how it's using Java Faker. I have experience with that in, in past lives, um, and it's kind of powerful in what you can do for generating test data. So let, let's take a look at what that would look like. Um, in this particular case, what I did was create a Voluble um, properties file. So uh, let's see that here. I think I have it. VI Voluble Source Properties. Yes, where I've got this example that I'm about to show you um, ready to run. This is off my GitHub repo, so there's a link provided to it. That's what we're going to run to show some examples. Um, let's just take a, before we run it, let's take a look at how many topics we have available now with Kafka Topics. We will see that we have just the page views. But in the example we're going to um, set with um, Voluble, we're going to create a lot more. So I'm going to fire that up. Again, this properties file is in the GitHub repo. Nothing new here. We're using Confluent Platform, so we're going to load this connector that way. Local load, fire away. So that's running in the background. Now if we take a look at the topics, we'll see a bunch or hopefully we do if this is working. Yeah, so we're seeing things like cats, diets, owners, etc. And that data is being generated into all these topics from Voluble. If we take a look at owners, for example, we'll see the data flying through. Links with all the gory details for both of these on the blog post. So here's a couple of ways to continuously generate using Kafka connectors. Two of them, data gen and Voluble. That's two out of three. Two out of three, we've got one more to go. Um, again, that's also going to be Confluent Platform um, because it's a tool native to that. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Last one's the easy one. I'm going to make it a little bit more fun. I'll try to make it more fun. I've got some music playing on this one. Um, Confluent Platform still running from picking up where we left off last time. You've got a tool, K SQL Data Gen, that's available to you. Out of the box, here's an example. I'm um, going to run this quick start orders. Um, you can probably see how this is implemented in the background when you look at it. Um, but I'm going to run this. Should be firing away. I am going to control C that and stop it um, so we can read it. We can read it with um, consume from the Confluent control line. Conflict control line, command line, and we can look like something like that, or we could use Kafka cat. We'll point it to the schema registry in this time because it's Avril, and we can see the same sort of output. So um, same thing as before, all these commands listed in the blog post. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if it comments or questions, and uh, yeah, that's it. Talk to you later.